Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Thank y'all for coming back to the channel. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for coming back. Well, I hear through the grapevine... I heard it through the grapevine that Marlo won't be attending the reunion because of COVID. Yeah, so Candy, you ain't got nothing to worry about, baby. Whoo, you should have been dogging out Marlo a long time ago. Because today on the reunion show, first one part, she ain't going to be the girl. I heard she ain't going to be the leaving charade on her own to fight the women solo. And what kind of friend is that? What kind of friend is that? She confided in you all season, Sheree. But she is not coming because she allegedly has COVID. Well, you know what? I had COVID and pneumonia at the same damn time in January, this past January, okay? So I was still able to sit up in my bed or sit up in a chair and have somewhat of a conversation, all right? Ah, so I'm not going to say Marlo is faking the funk, but it's show sure smelling funky. That's all I got to say. And if she's not feeling that well, could she not finish what she started, even if she had to zo do a Zoom call? Okay, but that's a telltale sign. She ain't ready for the big boys. Try to run with the big boys. Try to run with the big girls. You failed miserably. Yes, okay, she failed miserably in my man voice, okay? Okay, she failed. She failed at the assignment. Yes, she did. She failed at the assignment. Because even Drew Sedora, <laughs> okay, she came to the first reunion. She became a bitch, all right? But Marlo with all the big mouth, she went around with the big boys. She can't come. Well, I know she can't come, so let me, don't let me put that out there. Let's retract that statement. Because if she do got COVID, or she was a part of being around someone who had COVID, she could have supposed to hold group. So, yeah, it's best. Stay at home, stay at home. But you could have got on that laptop, girl. You could have got on that laptop and said what you had to say. But my daughter called it. She said, Marla ain't coming to... This was like the fourth episode in of season 14. She said, Marla ain't come on. She ain't coming to that reunion. <clears throat> so shout out to my daughter Stardry craziness Going over to her channel And get some kiki Some ha ha's from her Okay But child Candid I'm put out a story Time out She dreads Any reunion Because it just makes her stomach flip flop Well honey your stomach shouldn't be flip flopping now uh, since Marlo allegedly is not going to be joining the cast for the season 14 reunion. Now, you know, they usually break up them reunions in three parts. So maybe, just maybe, she can come to at least one of them. All right. Because she was the center of attention. She was the main shit starter. She was the main person getting in Kenya and Candace's ass any way she could. Now, at first, you know. I, I was loving it. I ain't gonna lie. I was loving it because I wanted to see Candy work a little bit more than just treading water and being the peacekeeper and the bone collector. I, I was expecting more. So I was cool for the first four or five episodes. But when she started talking about baby girl Brooklyn, I was like, no, unless you're going to say something very nice about her or uh, something nice about her mother, which we know you ain't. Don't bring the baby girl up and shit. And damn, don't bring Maul. Because we trying to get rid of Maul too. We trying to make like we never knew him. Okay? But can you can't seem to get rid of that eyesore of a husband. Okay? She can't seem to get rid of him. But she just don't know. We just as tired as her uh, about him. Then she tired of him about her. You know what I'm saying? We don't can't decide on this one. But honey, you got something you can't get rid of. 
Woo, like a bad cold up there. It's bad sinus infection, okay? But that's neither here nor there. We're going to go on with Candy Head to stay to eonline.com about her apprehensions, her anxiety of going through yet another reunion, okay? But anyway, we got, um, uh, who wrote the article? Allison Christ. She said, um, why... Wait a minute. Why Real Housewives of Atlanta? Candy. Candy girl. Okay. Is dreading the season 14 reunion. All right. It says the Real Housewives of Atlanta Candy Burris may have some issues that need sorting out at the season 14 reunion. But that doesn't mean she's looking forward to it. Oh, candy, candy, candy. Okay, I understand. You got to be on a public speaking pro uh, platform. You got to tell your truth. Uh, I, you know, it never gets old. It never gets better. But that's to be expected. I hope you have those same butterflies when you go on your tours with S Escape. Or it wouldn't be, it would be nothing, you know. Like, get over it then. If you, if you don't be uh, scared going up there and singing from the millions of people, then you damn, you shouldn't be scared of coming to a reunion. But it's mind over matter, mind over matter. Go seek psychology, uh, not psychology. See a psychiatrist about it. Okay, they can make it easier for you. But anyway, that is what it is. Okay. Candy Burr spills juicy DMs about Khloe Kardashian and more. What? I don't know about that, y'all. Okay, watch. Okay, maybe she's doing something. Okay. She was saying real reunions are no joke, even if you've been a star on your franchise for over a decade. Okay. Candy Burns has been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta since the second season in 2009. But as she explains on the latest episode of Housewives Not Nap Cow Night Cow, she's always hated reunions. It makes my stomach turn whenever I go into a reunion because I hate arguing with people. And I always know that... It's going to be a complete back and forth, Candy says. This year especially because it was a lot of people that were just coming for my neck. And I didn't realize it. Okay, Candy, one thing you're going to do. Go on over and talk to Tyna, okay? Because Tyna's the only one that can get your ass together. From, from the head of your, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. So you go over there and get some counseling from Tyna on how to deal with the situation, okay? And be okay about it. Even if you got, well, you say you don't drink. So, yeah, let me see, let me see. Benadryl, can you take Benadryl and make a little drowsy, okay? But then you might be a little, uh, um, loosened up, is what I'm saying. But now, nine times out of ten, to probably make you go to sleep. But anyway, go talk to your girl, Tyna. She's the only one that can reach you and um, basically get into your ass about whatever, and you respect her at the end of it. So that's a true friend, a true friend indeed. Okay, going back to the article, it says um, that was until she watched the episodes back. So many people on the show had a lot of things to say that I didn't know was happening when I was standing around them. I said, well, them fair-weather friends, Candy. Them are fair-weather friends, girl. I told you, man, you're on that fair-weather type of situation, too. You cut up again. You cut up unnecessarily. I had to come at you. But other than that, I'm on your side. I'm on your side, girl. I'm on your side. But I try to be as non-biased as possible, okay? But going back to the article, she said, uh, so many people on the show had a lot of things to say that I didn't know was happening when I was standing around. Candy added, so obviously, there's got to be addressed. All right, we're going to address that shit. Candy, going to address it then. There's still plenty of drama to come in the meantime, though. Just last week on August 7th, episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, no scrubs. Somebody got into an explosive argument with Marlo Hampton. I know I was there. I saw it. She said, oh, she got them shoulders to work on. She was doing some exercise. And honey, she had to go forth, forth, then back. Back then, four, back, back, four, four, and back, and, and four, and, and back. Girl, she had to go back and forth. Roll her shoulders, say, girl, I'm worldwide. I said, go ahead, girl, go ahead and cuss my little ass out. With them different color shoes on and that outfit fitted for COVID. All right, but yet she got the COVID and couldn't come to the reunion. So that shows me she just played games. She's just playing games, girl. But yes, honey, she learned from her lap dog. Y'all go check out ATL and she be spilling some tea over there about candy. About well, she she take off for me. No, I ain't gonna say she. Uh, she doesn't. That's a friend. That's what she say. So you know, if that's what she got to do to you know keep getting those interviews with Nene and keep breaking those exclusives, then do what you got to do, baby girl. Do what you got to do. But okay, she got too much into 
some uh, heated discussions. And like I said, she bought the kids involved. She bought the kids up, and that ain't good. That ain't good. And then she bought up people's marriages and shit. That ain't good. And then she gonna have Sheree stand there to defend her ass. Okay, I can't see it. I don't know why. But if I was Sh Sheree, I say, "Moms, it's the word, girl." Okay, all that you gotta do is do like Candy when Candy got caught telling somebody business. Oh yes, I did do that. <laughs> so Candy come at your throat. Just say Candy, yes I did. I sure did, and I ain't had no business doing it. But you know, I was in the moment, girl. I was in the moment. I was glad to be back on season fourteen, girl. I was I was glad to get that check. Okay, but uh, okay, I'm sorry, and that's how she should play it. But you know. Cooler heads have prevailed them. Shrey uh, uh, out there walking with Martell. After he done claimed he didn't want it, he didn't. Well, okay, I'll take that back. Let me walk it back. Uh, Funky Dineva said she knew somebody very close to him that said that he didn't have, you know, any relations with, uh, um, or having a situation ship with Candy. I'm mean, not Candy, but, uh, what's her name? Sheree. And, you know, he's only trying to build a pool. And I'm like, he ain't even got his license to build shit. As a construction person, why would you want him to do that? Uh, Sheree. Then Drew was kind of surprised throughout the whole season. I'm still mad at her because she couldn't get that shit together with Fatum. And I, Fatum was a very uh, worthy adversary that they could have maybe become friends towards the end. But I don't know. It just is what it is. It didn't happen for Fatum. Maybe it was the best, okay? But Marlo, Marlo's in question because. Everybody hate to love Marlo now, you know what I'm saying? We we brutal for her, but she kept taking digs too low. She was at the ankles taking digs, okay? She had forgot the kneecap. She went on down to the ankles. You know that shit hurt when you hit something that shit hurt. When you hit the, your toes on something, you didn't uh, feel like you were going to hit. It just happened, you know, accidentally, and that should be hurting, right? That's what Marlo wore with all the insults and all the stuff she was saying about Candy and Kenya, okay? Mm-hmm. But I want to say one thing. We don't need no other people coming that's already been on the show. Because Sheree and Marlo, y'all are very shaky. Sheree, you know you at the end of your rope, child. If you don't, oh, I don't know what we want from you. Because it's just too much. We don't even want she by Sheree over here no more. We don't even really want to talk about it. Because a candy can sit up here and make something out of nothing. Meaning a shirt that says, bitch, I'm worldwide. And she can get mugs cups uh t-shirts hats and all that at the drop of a hat that's on sale on her website what the hell you can't bring out your your collection okay because we know it ain't gonna be about no real uh producing the quality but it's the hell we just rooting for you to see if you can get the shit off the ground you know what i'm saying and we could actually have some apparel or some kind of um we call it a uh, symbol of who you are and what you were striving for. Because we don't want to hear about this shit in that season. Even if you just parlay into a fashion show, which we're going to see at the end, which it looked like too much of nothing uh, as far as the, f uh, the wares was concerned. We were glad to see uh, Apollo and all his nice fineness, of course. But, you know, you didn't really you didn't really come through. So I'm like, girl, go. Well, you got an you said too much about Candy. She might be looking at you sideways. But then Kenya likes Sheree. So she might smooth those feathers over that have been ruffled and be able to give. And I'm like, K get, ask Candy for a loan. Ask, you know, you good for us. She know you're on the show at least this season. So you, you got some money unless you don't already spent it out. Or it's, um, what do you call it? Issued out. Because, you know, because of your bills and stuff of that nature. Because if you own Chateau Charest, you're going to be paying some taxes at the end of the year or uh, in the middle of the year. However, it just is what it is. You just never get finished paying for shit in this world. You know what I'm saying? Get a car paid for a shit. Break down. You got to repair it because you ain't in no mood to drive by a new one. Then if you don't have no insurance on the damn car, you can't drive it because that'll be like a crime. So, like, what the fuck you got something that you can own and you still have to pay shit on it? Like, that mean no sense to do it. Just like you own your house. You still got to pay taxes and shit. Haven't you paid enough with acquiring the home and paying the deed off? I tell you. Whoo, these players that make all these rules and regulations in this world need to have their asses whooped. Okay, that's all I got to say. But anyway, going back to the article. Y'all know I get sidebar sometimes when I be just into a story. 
And I'm trying to develop it the way I wanted to develop it, from my opinion only, okay? That's all we got. Like, everybody got an asshole. I got an opinion, okay? Everybody have them. We all have masses. So, nobody really should be coming at nobody. You know what I'm saying? About somebody if they don't want to take the heat back. Because if you get it, you're going to get it. You see what I'm saying? If you give it, you're going to get it. That's all I'm saying over here. My family don't be playing no shit. They even be fussing with each other in the comment section, but they be okay. You know, I don't like to come in referee because I don't like to monitor adults. You know what I'm saying? I just put it out there. Look, be nice, be fair. Just play, pay attention to uh, topic of discussion. Don't get into your feelings about who wrote the post or who presented the video. Just get into the content, okay? That's all we're asking for, you know? be, be fair because we will throw you out the house. You can come in freely. But you ain't going to act all willy-nilly and get on folk nerve. We ain't going to have that kind of shit, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, where am I? Okay. All right, we did that. Okay, plenty of drama to address. Okay. Okay, Candy said the argument went way out of hand between Marlo and I, Candy said. It was very disrespectful on both parts. We both were gonna, going at each other. Marlo always says that she feels like she can go below the belt with people, and I don't know why she feels like it's supposed to be accepted coming from her. That doesn't mean Candy won't retaliate, though. I know some people feel like, oh, well, I have to stay above. Oh, no, not me, Candy. Continue. If you're going to... Uh, come that way with me, you're going to get what you came for. And I'm not above it all. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm like girl, why you going to be this way? And season mm, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. You know what I'm saying? Why can you be this way, this forceful woman that will radiate when time needs to be shown? Okay. But, okay, better late than never. Ba better late than never. Okay, that's all I got to say. Uh, says, perhaps what Candy really needs is a vacation to get away from it all. Maybe even a girl's trip. Not so fast. I don't think really, I don't really think that's for me, she said, of the possibility to join a future season of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. And it's not that I think there's anything wrong with it. I just feel like the people who I would have probably saw myself being on with have already done it, like Cynthia Bailey, Kenya Moore. Season 3 of the Peacock spinoff is currently filming in Thailand. Candy, meanwhile, is working on yet another Bravo series, Escape slash SWV, set to follow the ladies, the 90 R&B group, as they reunite following the epic versus performance. Uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta starts Sunday at 8 p.m. Okay, on E and the Bravo are part of the NBC Universal family, who Nene Lee is trying to sue the hell out of. Okay, but hey, like I said, you give, you get. Uh, and <laughs> it don't look, it ain't looking too fair for Nene. She may get the money, but then again, guess what? She may not work another day in her life, so she's gonna need all them funds, honey, all of them funds to be. Uh, making money for her. I don't know if she need to invest real well because, you know, investing on the stock market or in Bitcoins or this other shit they got out here. It's still a risk. That's the only thing I can say. It's still a risk. But that's all I got for this particular video, my guys. All right. Y'all get on down. Get on those discussions. And, you know, I'll come on down when I got time. When I got time, I'll come down there and, and, and meet and greet you all. Alright, but that's all I got. Ain't got no more and I'll see you on the next video.